Remember, inflammation is the first step to healing. So when the body is fighting something off, it's really trying to heal you. But if you have an autoimmune condition, that autoimmune condition doesn't go away. And so the inflammatory cascade stays turned on. It turns out that a condition called rheumatoid arthritis has a higher heart attack rate than diabetes. What? It's true. So having rheumatoid arthritis, if a viewer out here has rheumatoid arthritis, controlling the inflammation from that is huge. Psoriasis. So psoriasis has a vitamin D connection, but it's an autoimmune disease. And psoriasis, people with that have a higher risk of heart attack. It's a direct root cause. David, it might be worth repeating that rheumatoid arthritis in an individual is a bigger cause than diabetes. Most people know that about diabetes, but they don't know about rheumatoid arthritis. One of the reasons that rheumatoid arthritis is not recognized as much in terms of heart attack risk is that not nearly as many people have it. Here's a question. How about psoriatic arthritis? Absolutely. It's another autoimmune disease. It drives inflammation. It does. So I've got a few patients with it, and I'm sure you know the number one test that their rheumatologist follows. C-reactive protein. That's exactly right. They do the regular C-reactive protein, so they might miss some things that we look for, but absolutely right. they're monitoring inflammation. You know, at, since we're talking about inflammation in this context, many of these diseases and inflammatory bowel disease is another one on the screen here. Lupus, that's one. Sjogren's syndrome, which is a dry eye, dry mouth condition. But these diseases, because we can't yet cure the cause of the autoimmune disease, there are lots of different monoclonal antibodies that are used to turn off the inflammatory response. So several years ago, a wonderful trial was done, the Cantos trial, that said, hey, I wonder if using potent anti-inflammatory concoction, a monoclonal antibody, can reduce heart disease. You know, the standard of care medical world doesn't understand this connection between inflammation. And so it had never been tested in this way. And guess what? The Cantos trial showed, yes, that drug, without changing anything else, reduced the risk of heart attack and stroke. Now, here's the problem. It's a drug that costs several thousand dollars a month. So it's not a practical treatment for us, but it is proof of what we've been saying for years, that inflammation's the problem. The drug in the Cantos trial did not affect cholesterol levels, did not affect blood sugar levels, did not affect blood pressure, didn't do anything for insulin resistance. It was pure anti-inflammatory and it reduced events.